View uses what's known as routing to switch between components. We can think of it as navigating between pages on a regular website. To the user, it looks like they navigate to a new page, when in reality, View only loads a specific component. Dynamic components allow us to switch between two or more components without using routing. They can also retain the state of data if that's needed. For example, consider a multi-step form where each step is a different component. Data from the previous steps need to persist if the user needs to go back. In that case, dynamic components are much quicker and easier to use than routing. To create a dynamic component, we use the component element and bind the is prop to it to specify which component we want to render. If we consider the multi-step form example, the component we want to render on each step will be specified in the is prop. For our example, we have two components called step A and step B. Both have a heading element with some identifying text. And in the root app component, we have an instance of each in the template. Let's start by demonstrating the multi-step process without dynamic components. We'll add two buttons in the template that switch between the step components based on a data properties value. So, when we click on a button, it changes the data property to the current step and loads the correct component through the VF directive. If we head over to the browser and click on step B, it'll load the step B component. While this is a perfectly valid approach, we could encounter some issues. The first problem is that multi-step forms will often have many steps. It's a lot of unnecessary code and also gives us an opportunity to make mistakes and introduce bugs in our application. Another problem is that data doesn't persist from one component to another, which is necessary in a multi-step form. We'll look at how to keep data alive between components in a little bit. For now, let's replace our two-step components with a single component element and bind the isProp to it. And, because active step contains the component name, we can use it in the isProp to specify the component we want to render. If we save and take a look in the browser, it works exactly the same as it did before. What happens is that view loads the component based on the isprop's value. The value coming from active step will be either step A or step B, so it will render the step A or step B component. There's no need for us to instantiate the components manually and create a VF condition for each of them. We know that view will render the step A or step B components. In view, it's legal for a component instance to use Pascal case, which is what happens in our example, because we use Pascal case in the active step data property. So technically, view will render them like this. But conventionally, we should use kebab case. If we want to follow convention, we should change the value in active step and the button click events to use kebab case. Now, view will render them with the correct casing. Everything will still work as expected, but now our code is consistent with convention. When we use dynamic components, we may want data to persist when switching between them. For example, our multi-step form should allow users to move back and forth between different steps without losing the data they already entered. To demonstrate this default behavior, let's modify the step B component to have a text input. If we click on the Step B button in the browser and fill in a name in the input field, the name is saved to the data property and displayed above the field. But if we click on Step A and then back on Step B, the name we entered is lost. View can cache dynamic components, allowing their data to persist. To do that, we wrap our component instance 
with the open and close keep alive component. To demonstrate, let's wrap the dynamic component in our example with keep alive tags. This time, the name will persist if we switch between the components. In the next video, we'll learn how to teleport components to other places in the DOM. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.